So hey everybody, what's happening? Uh, it's been a bit quiet on the channel, but we are now 12 days since I finished running the Danube, 67 marathons in 67 days. And I am now this morning, it's a Sunday, I'm at the New Forest Marathon, uh, sponsored by Garmin. Thank you to Garmin for offering me the place to come down here and run. And what I'm gonna do today is see, after a bit of rest, I've run three times basically since I stopped running on the Danube. Uh, sort of short runs, about five to sort of seven miles, very easy. And today what I'm gonna do is a little experiment to see just how fit I am after running 67 marathons in 67 days. Now, during that run, I realized that my heart rate, even carrying a 10 kilo backpack, at like eight and a half minute miles was, it was dropping, but so it didn't go over 125. So I thought this would be a really interesting way to see what effect it has. I've run this race about three or four times before, so I've got some good benchmark times. It's not a PB course, because it's quite a kind of sort of traily, kind of fairly hilly run. And I've never run it that that quickly, but quickly enough. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cover my watch. I'm not gonna look at how fast I'm running. I'm not gonna know how far I've gone. I'm gonna run entirely based on feel and I'm gonna see what I get, essentially. Just gonna go out there and, and see what I get. So that is it, I'm here. We're about 20 minutes from the start. I'm gonna go and drop off my kit, get ready, and uh, we'll go and see what we get. So I'm back from the New Forest Marathon. I'm sorry I haven't filmed an awful lot along the way. I was too busy running my, uh, my backside off, to be honest. But ran it entirely on field, didn't look at the watch once. It's the first time I've ever run a marathon and not looked at my watch. Obviously I had my Garmin Enduro running in the background, but ran it entirely on field and it was it went really well. That I, I haven't looked at the stats yet. I'm gonna dig into that on Garmin Connect a bit later, but having done 67, or the equivalent of marathons in 67 days. I just wanted to experiment and see how it would feel if I just ran entirely on what my body would give me. I had no idea how it would go. So first time I looked at my watch when I crossed the finish line, did it in three hours 10, which is a massive personal best on this course out here because this is a quite a difficult trail, undulating, sort of hilly off-road course. I think my previous best on this has got to be something like 3.49 or something. So all of that long running with 11 days rest in between has really paid off. And I felt great out there. I think that's the most controlled run I think I've ever done. Legs, I didn't quite have the speed endurance at the end. I could feel the legs locking up for the last six miles. So a bit of speed work in between would probably change that a little bit. But the, the engine, the cardio engine was there right till the end. I had more basically to give at the end. It was just that everything, muscles sort of tightened up a bit, but really, really happy with how that went. Super controlled. I fueled using um, Precision Hydration's 90 gram pouches did two of those and again just found that to be a dream better than opening up six gels I just put the top off this squeeze down a third of it put the top back on pop it in the pocket no trouble to carry it in the belt of these sort of seam out shorts somewhere and, and it was lovely i mean the course was absolutely magic as well the weather was perfect really not too hot shade when you needed it loads of wild ponies in the forest that are here but i've never seen so many galloping across the roads there was there were basically i don't know they had their jitters up today if horses get their jitters up, I don't know. 
that's the thing anyway. One of them, there's a whole like seven of them just ran almost like two yards in front of me across. So I had to stop, wait and let them go. If I'd have been a little bit faster and not looking, I would have been toast basically. I would have been a squished runner. Um, fortunately not. And uh, got myself one of these, first race medal for a while, but yeah, happy with that. That's, I ran in the Socony and Dolphin Speed 3 as well, bit of off-road, bit of trail. Shoes officer ran the Danube in, they worked perfectly. Again, for this course, it wasn't too slippy and muddy out there, so it was all good, good response, just comfortable. They just disappear on the foot, so yeah, again, couldn't complain about that. And yeah, magic, really, really happy with that performance. And uh, glad to say that the beard didn't impede me either, so yeah, well, anyway, I'm off to sort of maybe lie down for a bit or get some food and uh, make my way back to London. But massive thank you to Garmin for inviting me down here to do this obviously uh to the new forest marathon for, for keeping this going it's my almost one of my kind of home race so i love it here it's definitely one you should check out of it's a one of the runs that kind of fills the soul for sure so um definitely worth putting it on your race list so calm here like the start is so easy laid back it's wonderfully organized um one that i would definitely recommend but yeah anyway i'll catch you guys later i'm off to get some rest and recuperation <laughs>